Hello friends. Um, as you can see, I'm outside today and you're seeing a view up onto St. Patrick's Cathedral uh, and a little bit of the light of the early evening uh, coming through. It's quite a lovely image of the, of the, the water feature also that um, forms part of the grounds here at the cathedral. As you know, over the last few weeks in our Sunday scriptures, we've been listening to various uh, parables that our Lord told, stories, the words that help us to understand our relationship with him. And this particular Sunday, we move into some action aspects of the Lord's life uh, that draw us into his deeds. And I thought that was a lovely sort of image for us to reflect on this week. It's both word and deed that matters. The Word of God with the capital W who becomes flesh for us and offers us the gift of eternal life uh, through his own body. We're called to be doers of the Word. And so on, on this opportunity to just share with you this week, um, I might ask you to reflect a little bit about how you might be able to be a doer of God's Word in your circumstances at the moment. As we know, the numbers have been really very, very difficult to um, grasp at the moment. And so many people now are catching uh, coronavirus and sadly, 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 uh, so many numbers now are dying, particularly of, of our elderly brothers and sisters in the nursing homes uh, throughout our city. And so I wanted to just offer a particular prayer for those, for those who have died, for their families who are suffering in grief because of this, and for those who are, are among the many now who are contracting this uh, very terrible uh, virus that is affecting all of us. To all of you, my prayer of encouragement and of hope and of the life that the Lord offers, even in amidst the struggles of life that we all have. And so friends, on this week when we might be able to think about how we can become doers of the word, may the word of life become evident in our own lives. Until next week.